Support Laneside. Get something cool. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews. As always, I'm the bearded beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And we've got some really exciting stuff to show you on this episode, so why don't we take it Laneside and see how it's stacked up. All right, guys, and welcome back. After a uh, short lockdown, we uh, are back in uh, the bowling center, and we're bowling on the typical house shot, looking at the new Brunswick knockout. Now, oh my goodness. You notice a little bit of a different carry here. We're actually bowling on string pins, and we'll talk a little bit about that in a little bit. But I want to get to the ball first. This is the new, um, I'm going to call it exactly what it is. Um, it is a re-release of probably one of my favorite balls with a new cover stock that has actually made it better. The melee hook, melee hook, melee hook, whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, I call it one of my favorite balls ever. Uh, when it was out, it was a moneymaker for me. Loved the reaction. Now it's come back with the new a Savvy Hook 3.0 cover stock. What is that? What is that? You can't take that. Um, and, uh, yeah, I love this ball. One of the things I liked about it was the versatility. You can see that I am playing, uh, I've started playing pretty straight uh, in Wayne's area, playing it more as a speed dominant type shot. And uh, you can see I've already started to move, ooh, started to move left, and uh, it still has some performance. Now, you'll notice here, we have some string pins. Uh, here in Ontario, um, most of the province has been locked down since Christmas. And uh, with one of the areas going into opening, I was presented with the opportunity to bowl on string pins for the very first time. Uh, USBC just finished a study, and uh, they said that bowling on string pins is actually more difficult uh, than bowling on regular pins, and I think we've already seen how it can be more difficult uh, with the uh, carry in that first frame. Uh, I'm here in Stellar Lanes, actually, in Newmarket. Um, and I, this is actually the first time I bowled here in probably oh, 25 years. Um, so I was really excited to come back in. They just renovated this place. Uh, they took it over in 2015, and, I mean, it is just absolutely gorgeous while we're waiting for them to un untangle. Um, just an absolutely gorgeous house. Now, while a lot of people in the U.S. have not seen String Pin, uh, our friends in the U.K. and in Canada have seen quite a bit of it. It's, it's kind of the new thing that's come through. Uh, and the USBC study said it's actually uh, 10 to, I think it was 10 to 12 or 10 to 15 percent more difficult to score on these pins, uh, on uh, string pins, than it is on regular pins. So let's get back to the ball. Now that the, um, the tangle is taken care of, um, one of the things I really liked about the melee hook that I've already seen here in the knockout, uh, and we've seen this on TV as well, is how versatile it is. Even though it's a low RG core and a very strong, oh, very strong revving core, um, that differential at 050 is very, very high flare. That cover stock gives it a lot more versatility. Um, you've seen me play right up, you know, that speed dominant shot, and I keep moving five boards by five boards by five boards. And the ball doesn't stop, you know, it doesn't stop performing for me. Now, it could be because I'm on string pins, um, like like my uh, seven pin leave that was in the gutter and then got stood up again. Um, <laughs> good strike with a seven pin stood up. Um, it could be because I'm on a different set of lanes. I've never bowled on, on their house condition. I've never bowled on their lanes. Uh, but I found this ball was really easy for me to manipulate and be able to just keep getting deeper and deeper and getting the ball to carry. You look at my reaction there. I'm like, huh, all right. I didn't even throw it really particularly well there. I slid on my heel. You can see I lost my balance a little bit, but the ball, the ball made me look way better than I deserve there. So, um, yeah, you know what? One of the other things that I've noticed 
with the melee hook, the the detraction from it was that cover stock really lane shined quickly. Um, it would lose its surface really fast. Oh, after uh, after testing this ball out, it, I still had a fair amount of surface on it. Like it didn't shine up. It was still fairly gritty. Few left handers. Whoop! Some of that funny carry. <laughs> So we are, like, I was, I want to finish my thought there. I was really impressed with how it kept its surface, and I was really impressed with the versatility. Now, here we have my trusty Intel, drilled 90 by 3 by 40. Uh, this is my benchmark ball. This is, the ev this is the thing that I compare everything else to. And when I put the knockout against it, you can see that I'm basically finishing the same point, but the knockout just allows me to get a little farther out, gives me a little bit more angle of entry, and, I mean, definitely mixed them up there. That was some incredible carry. So if you're looking for something versatile and good, I think this might be your ball, because it's a knockout. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a show. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side.